but he said that he had yeah yeah the pr had, is uh, there uh, but it's it's his last week okay yeah he posted uh, last night for me that um he made some progress in understanding the issue but i i didn't see any uh, pr yet updated pr yeah okay so 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 to all two things uh, one is yeah let's uh, let's obviously if Akash gets fixed let's get it get it in if otherwise let's let's proceed with what we have and then if there is an issue we'll we'll do a doctor is okay I, I think since I'm already close to a fix I might try to just finish this um, uh, rather than delay it um, I, you know the, the reason I think it is necessary if, if you're developing or trying to fix something with free 5 GC, um, you need to be able to debug it on its own as an operator. I, I do think that's important. Um, or at least update the readme to say what you need to do to run it because the readme is completely broken right now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a fair game. If you want to do the readme, I think uh, that's, a, that's a good idea. Uh, but other than that, the, the individual CRs that we have, obviously they are not being used at all now because it's, everything is in F deployment. Uh, that's the change that happened from R1 to R2. Uh, so those those CRDs will not be necessary at all. Uh, I I think I'm leaning towards, uh, I, I'm perfectly okay putting that uh, readme thing that you're talking about. We should do that. Uh, and then in addition to, if you get a fix from Akash, uh, probably we could consider that. But beyond those two things, yeah. I think probably we are too close to the game at this point of time. Well, uh, it's, yeah. Victor has very because Bala, I what my, my understanding, I mean, I looked into the issue with Akash. I mean, what Victor did might work, but if you would, if the if the pipeline runs again, you will have the duplication. When when you mean pipeline runs again, what do you mean? And uh, when? So right now, so what he did is basically we we always have the the functions twice, right? Because we have the in and the out, basically, right? So what he did yeah. is basically he removed uh, one of them. Right, but what it means is that if you run the pipeline again, let's say if Porsche runs it again, you will the function hits and it will do a duplication, right? So you will have the duplication of the entry. So my understanding is, Victor, correct me if I'm wrong. Even after you removed the second occurrence, you still had the duplicates in that thing, but it's worked. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bala. So, so well, I think what Wim is trying to say is, uh, basically. We haven't picked the, the root cause, like uh, so that doesn't mean that I mean anyone who can create like a KPT and add multiple calls to the same function is going to show the the, the issue in the configuration. So it, it seems to me that you know I, I looked at the code. I, I think the um the fix is something like check that it's not already there before adding it. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's uh, that's what it is. So the the fix is really small. Uh, what uh, Akash will do, but what I'm trying to say is that what we have done right now, this issue can pop up again. Is what I'm trying to say. Even right, with right, what right. Victor yeah. did, is what I'm trying to say. So if you you in a scenario that basically the pipeline runs again, you will have the duplication. And so I think once we... you have the duplication, Victor, correct me if I'm yeah, wrong. That's right. uh, uh, we, so probably probably the question could be: Do we want to fix it now or like postpone it for? R2, that's, I guess, uh, the thing that we have I, to answer. I, I think the fix is really small, by the way, but uh, so okay. because so, the problem which you'll have is that if, if people run it and you will hit this issue one way or another, in my view. So if you don't fix it properly, you will you will have to fix it. Uh, you'll have to do a dot one or something like that because yeah, people oh, will try I, it and they will. They will so I, they will I, see I have it. a question here. The, the way I understand it, it goes through the kept SDK that you worked on. So I wonder if we put the if we put that check for duplication in the kept SDK. So anybody using the kept SDK will you'll you'll always have that fix, right? So if you're going through the kept SDK to add, right, the kept SDK will already check for that it's not already there, right? Um, the yeah, but the is problem is the kept SDK is is CR unaware, right? So the problem is now we need to find. Uh... So the, the SDK itself is basically, it doesn't know anything about CR. I mean, it knows KRM files, but not the content. So here you have to look into the content. So, and, and, and I'll note, by the way, that in some cases you might want a duplication, right? There, there might be some use cases where you do actually want two or three of something. So um, 
maybe there could be an API to add and you say allow duplicates or don't allow duplicates as a flag. And you know, if, if we yeah. if we put everything through that function, some go function that, you know, add. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, then we can fix the problem more generically. So so you very deliberately, when you call add, you decide if you want to allow duplicates or not. Does that make sense? Yeah, we can add that uh, that capability. I would do that later uh, if I will, but because I think we should fix what we have right now. But we can add the flexibility to to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So so on the fix swim, I think uh, if Akash has gotten to a fix, if he get uh, if he have a PR there, then probably do that. Other than that, probably we should not do anything else. Is what I'm thinking, because. I do I not want to go to TSC tomorrow again with the bad news. I think, uh, I think we should, uh, if if we have the fix today and then uh, from from Akash, we can we can do that. Otherwise, uh, if it is an intermittent issue, it, it sometimes succeeds, sometimes it fails. Uh, we should we should take it. Uh, 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 we should we should take it after. So how how's this as a proposal? Um, let's document what we want to happen for a two point zero point one release. Um, yeah. And we should be very transparent with the TSC tomorrow, saying we we have something that works, but we really want to do a two point zero point one release soon with a, a better fix. Does that make sense? Yeah, that works. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just afraid that if you don't fix it properly, at some point Me someone too. say it doesn't work, and then uh, you have to debug it and that, that, exactly, that yeah. and then yeah, that's Bala, my worry. I'm, but I'm okay with the two dot zero one. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, yeah, it's. A I good. think we will have to do two dot zero dot one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not the only thing. Because I'll, I'm pretty sure there'll be few candidates. We will have to fix some documentation here and there. We'll have to do some some minor fixes, some minor tweaks here and there. Then let's, I think 2.0.1 will happen just like the way 2.1.0.1 happened. I think the dot release, is, it's, it's okay. It's a part of the life cycle of a software. Yeah, sorry, you tell you were saying something when I was talking. Well, you, you know, I proposed that as a compromise, but I'm, I'm leaning on, you know, whim here too that I, I would prefer 2.0.0 to be fixed. I think we're very close maybe. Um, we just need kind of a few more days. Um, I, I would suggest this, let's come to the TSC meeting tomorrow with those two options. Say we could do a 2.0.1 release soon with a proper fix, or we can take maybe a few more days to release 2.0.0. Um, see what the TSC thinks about those two options, pros and cons, and let them decide. Uh, I am not, okay, I, I don't want to be, I, let me be the devil's advocate. I really do not want to delete the release. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think we have had enough time, to be honest with you, to fix any of these issues. Uh, and uh, Let's hear another voice here. Fikra has his hand up. Yes. It's, it's a bug fix. So a bug fix and documentation can go in after the release, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. But I, I don't think you'd, you'd have to publish a new 2.01 or 2.01 release just for a bug fix. Um, uh, it, it seems to me like a kind of fundamental bug. <laughs> but... Um... Yeah, any any other opinions here from anybody? Well, I, I I'd say it's better uh, to to ship it when it's ready. Uh, like back in uh, the old Debian days, the new release will be re ready when it's ready. So, uh, but this is just my opinion. Uh, if there are, if there is some pressure to 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 make the release, then make the patch release. Uh, we can do that, but I'm generally more in favor of uh, just releasing something that's, uh, of course, never perfect, but at least we're sure that 
it's it's in a in a good state, right? Yeah, but uh, the, the one thing we know is the only reason I'm advocating for release is Victor has tested a couple of times and he has seen success. So right. So if it didn't work at all, then obviously no. I mean, we have seen it works and we are we are not sure about the fix. Uh, and uh, it's 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 an intermittent issue at this point of time. Uh, so that that's the reason I'm suggesting. Uh, uh, if 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 there is something, uh, you could if if there is indeed a bug, if there is indeed if it doesn't work consistently, uh, then we can take a look at that. Here, Vish has ha his hands raised. Go ahead, Vish. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. So just trying to understand this from my. Um... So R1, as this bug existed in R1 as well, or was this introduced in R2 because of some changes we did? Yeah, it's a new bug. Oh, it's a new bug. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And and uh, so one usually, like, you know, there's usually something called as a change control board that we have when you're doing a product development life cycle, right? So if you were to put on those hats and see that, is this something like a stop ship at this point of time? Or can there be a workaround if there was a support call? Would somebody be able to actually... Uh, um, suggest a workaround and we'll get this up and running. So these are the kind of questions, you know, that will help guide whether this is a stop ship or uh, if this needs to be fixed before we release it. So something to think about. Yeah, that's a good point, Rish. Yeah. Yes, I, I do think we have two very clear paths here, right? Either wait a few days to fix or put it into a point release. I, I think we can leave it to the TSC. You know, the TSC, Bala, you're, you're playing devil's advocate, as you said, but so the TSC will probably do the same and prefer to release. So that's fine. I think I think we're fine with both of these paths, right? Oh. I, yeah, that's what I want to make sure, that everybody here is uh, feels OK with whatever the TSC would decide. Uh, uh, Victor, you have your hand up. Yeah, yeah. the thing is, we, we can say that message to TSC, but honestly, we have to get the guidance of the TSC rather than, because we are on the day-to-day -day operations, TSC is not. So TSC is looking for the guidance rather than the option. Because yeah, TSC, we, members, of, members of TSC, they are not in the day-to-day -day operation. They, they, they will not completely understand the context of this. They will ask the same thing, like we asked. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, so I think it, uh, it is it is for us to make a statement. I, I would rather make the first statement that you did that there is an intermittent issue, which may which we may have to do the point release rather than giving them the option like that because they do not know. So go ahead, Victor. Yeah, yeah uh, Bala, I I will uh, ask you to raise your hand from now on to make sure that everybody has a voice. Yes. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> Thank yes. You. Yes. Thank yes. you, Bala. Yeah. Okay. So I just going to express my opinion. I, I, by the way, Tol. Um, I always think that there's always a third option. Uh, so so there's always that. I mean, it's, it's very hard to find that, but uh, but anyway, uh, my preference is uh, I prefer to release it as it is and maybe just uh, be clear, like uh, transparent what we have been seeing and discover and document all, all the issues and and definitely work on the on the the issue. I mean, we can we can also um, release the, the book immediately after the release and attack the components i guess that's from from my perspective it's a little bit better than keep waiting for more time and wait more time because um well technically we we supposed to release the second release on on december and now we are approaching february <laughs> so i i i i think that people are expecting some some issues and as, as bala said uh, we have a lot of other issues that i have seen Ravi reporting uh, multiple issues, especially because he's he's taking another path, uh, using the, the the UI and and following documentation, and also uh, there are people who are like reporting things in Porch. Uh, I just uh, someone reached me out in the morning saying about uh, a particular issue with Porch when they were trying to use uh, private uh, private uh, repositories. So, so from my perspective, I guess it's better to release it now a little bit. I mean, probably document and say, well, I know that we have this particular thing and we are close to release something. And that can give us a little more time to test it uh, with the proper changes and, and do something. But that's my, my opinion. 
Yeah, that I, I'm, I'm tending to agree with that too. I'll add that, uh, Bala, we can add in the release notes a section called out, Outstanding Issues. Yeah, and there is, there is, section, there is, there is, yeah, oh, there is that section. Yes, there is, a, there is a section of known issues. We should add it to that section, yeah. That, that might be a good solution. Uh, Vish, go ahead. Sorry, I think I still, sorry. Yeah, I, didn't have a question. I didn't have a question, not for now, because I was going to say that, you know, I was going to add to the point of the TSC, like, you know, what Bala was trying to say, we probably need something, uh, what I feel that we need is very something that similar that we did in R1, where we actually had those use cases defined, we had this acceptance criteria defined by SIG architecture, and uh, usually I would put them as product management role, who would actually have a say in, hey, what is the functionality that is actually missed uh, if we didn't if we had this bug or what is the workaround those kind of questions i was thinking should be asked by them before we release then the tsc I was just trying to add to that but maybe not be relevant right now we can bring this up as part of a retrospective maybe so yeah i think uh, actually wish i'm planning a retrospective after this i have a few things yeah we wish we can discuss this yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Tal. Uh, yes, we have a known issue section. I really uh, want us to take a look at that. I, I requested uh, all of us to take a look at that known issues. There are some comments I added that, uh, but this is definitely a known issue. Of, if there's any other known issue, we can add it uh, to that section as well. Oh, oh, the well, PR is open. Please make a now. comment. Maybe we can do that now. Do you want to share maybe um, the, yeah, there's the latest? A PR. Actually, there's a, yeah, there's a PR open. In the docs, if you go, um, there is a draft here. I'll get, I can send the link. One second. Yeah, I, I think it's it's good maybe that right now <laughs> we yeah. go over this together before tomorrow's TSC meeting. Yeah. So we can also inform them of uh, the outstanding issues. Um, I'll paste it here. Yeah, I, I just put a link uh, to the PR. Tal, if you want to. Where, where is the link? It's in the chat. Um, for some, it's oh, in the Zoom chat, sorry, Zoom chat. Yeah, it, it took a second to update. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll sh let me share this. Um, Okay. If you, to, if you go to the files, if you go to the file view directly, then there is a there is a known issues or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, known issues. It may be. Uh, yes, uh, I want us to. Uh, some of them is reflecting of R one. I don't know if there's still the known issue. Then we want to remove some of this, add some of this. This is the this is where uh, this is a section that we need to take a look. Okay. Um... Maybe let's let's go over these one by one carefully. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is regarding uh, Ubuntu failures. Um, by the way, um, should we maybe put a link to the actual issue here so people reading this can track it and see if it's already been resolved? Yeah, that's a great point. I'm not sure whether we have an issue for this or it's already resolved. Already, that's that's one of the things I wanted uh, uh, the reviewers to take a yeah. Uh, uh, do do we still have this issue? The, that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. no. Is you doing the condition of the controller or like? Um, or do we even claim support for OpenStack at this point of time? Should we just remove well, it? It's an experimental feature, right? Uh, yeah. Like OpenShift. Yeah. Um, I remember that Francesco was uh, testing that path, but, uh, but yeah, he was not using like a uh, cluster API to provision a open side Kubernetes cluster or something like that. He was just deploying VMs and running. The way that I did a workaround was uh, because I was facing a similar issue in, in Ubuntu was removing some of the less overs in the, in the PT um, sources. So that's the way that I have solved it in the CI. 
no, I'm not sure if he's referring or of this particular known issue is referred to, to that particular thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't entirely understand this. I'm not sure what's special about a, an Ubuntu VM running in OpenStack specifically. Mm -hmm. um, I don't yeah, understand I think, this. Yeah, yeah I think. Uh... I think it is, uh, I don't know who worked on this in the R1 time frame. I think they suggested this. They had some issues with the OpenStack environment specifically. I think that's when we added it. Uh, are we, of course, we have not tested anything uh, for R2 in OpenStack. Uh, yeah. So should we just keep it or should we just remove it? If we don't understand it, I don't think we should put keep it. <laughs> okay, um, can, you, can, you, can you please add a comment there? Uh, 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 when you're right there, I'll, let, I'll remove this. Yeah. And can you also tag uh, Francesco? Yeah, the only person who I know. Uh, I mean, his uh, oh. handle. Does this look okay? Yeah, I think. Uh, uh... La pen, is La Pen or La, la Pen? Well, I feel we have enough information here to. Uh... Okay, I would just also include him. He's in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, the next one. Well, this is an ongoing complaint, right? Um, yeah. Um, Wim, does this look right to you, the description here? I think the description is right. Yeah, I don't. Uh... Yeah, we don't know the root cause, but I see yeah. the way the system is right now. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a bit uh, flaky. Yeah, I think. Um, but we don't have an open issue for this as well, right? Um, in my view, I'm this should sure. be epic, not a single issue, because there's probably a lot of uh, sub issues. Yeah, this is a big, uh, this is a big thing, uh, by the way. Yeah, I agree. Um, this needs uh, some surgery, I think. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I, mean, this is I think it's we have to keep this. I think right because this is something that we a lot of uh, we actually our end-to-end -end tests and uh, a lot of people, even when you try manually, they are complaining about this, right? So we have to keep this. I think. To be to be honest, I have a lot of issues with this design. This whole idea that we need a separate auto approval controller seems wrong to me. <laughs> um, you know, now that we own Porch, this might be something that we can change in Porch itself to allow for auto, auto approval uh, with a certain condition. So, um, yeah, this exactly this requires surgery, and I think. Oh, even, the, uh, yeah. the problem is that the, yeah, it's too it, the way it's built. It's fragile right now, so that's what we have to fix. Whether it's a yeah. separate controller, I would, I mean, you can debate about that, I think, but uh, it's fragile in the way that all these conditions are, because some are in the cat file, some are in the in the revision, and then the file change. So the way that whole thing is working is a bit... Uh, Awkward. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah it's, it's fragile, I would say, at the moment. So we can make it more robust, I think. And with that, we can, yeah, we can probably yeah, solve a bunch of issues, but um, I have been looking at this, by the way. Great. Um, okay. Um, so for the final one, I'll just say that, you know, we should replace this with a uh, port CTL instead of the kept command. Um... <laughs> Uh, well, I guess the same thing. Um, but it's probably not will be fixed, right? So it's probably still there, I think, because this is, what does it do? Copy, so that's basically a clone, local. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so let's add the other outstanding issues that we know about here. Um, so, um, so the one issue is that uh, I think NF deploy is not item potent uh, at the moment. <laughs> that's I, that's how I would describe it. 
that so that relates to the duplication issue yes okay um uh, maybe say out loud how to write this i'll type this in and then we'll edit wait a minute so that's that's how it's uh how do you say yeah so in specialized yeah i mean do, do we so, have to so, call so, out so, the the function itself or not no no actually no actually we want to when we do the known issue probably let's let's put it in the way that is perceived by the end user yeah yeah rather than okay, being so, too technical so, rather than being so too then technical, we can say what during the end user would observe yeah, yeah. So during specialization, a duplication of the, uh, what is it, parameter ref, right? Yeah, can occur. parameter refs, yeah. It can occur. Uh, and then the cons, I, I think should we say the consequence is that the deployment will not succeed, right? So the, when you, right? So. Leading to failed deployments in the workload cluster, right? Is that correct? Yeah, and then the, is the workaround. Uh... I think right now the only workaround you have is redeploy. Yeah. Yeah, let's put that, yeah. Oh, Sagar is bringing out a point in chat that. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I don't see the chat. No, 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 not this one, not related to this. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have said it until you finish typing. <laughs> so it's basically he says it doesn't, don't use the word uh, occasional in deployment. I'll, 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 I'll see that. Uh, is, is this specific to 35GC only? Uh, no. No, this is, no, this will be for anyone. Oh. Anything. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So the other duplication issue is, by the way, I, I, I might have a fix for this <laughs> today. So Maybe I don't have to say a fix is in progress because we assume that all of these issues are being fixed. Um, all of these have fixes in progress. Um, okay. Uh, anything else that we should add to the known issues? Somebody can think about. Um, so anything related to the uh, a big thing is OAI, uh, RAN and Core, uh, Sagar. Any anything specific that you can think of that we need to add? Oh, I, I actually see something here. You said the web UI only shows resources in the default nam namespace. Oh, limitations. Okay, yeah. Um, so, so Ravi has been uh, reporting some issues uh, in the UI, um, especially with uh, comparing revisions. Um, I'm not sure it, it is it is an issue or like it is expected. Yeah. We need more uh, investigation. We, we, I think we all know that the UI requires the web UI requires a lot of work. <laughs> uh, 
Um, personally, I never use it <laughs> myself. So I'm not aware of all the issues there, but the reason I don't use it is because it has issues. So, um, Rado has his hands raised. Go ahead, Rado. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Rado. Yeah, speaking, speaking of UI, um, I've uh, bumped the base image version and it, it actually causes problems with the application itself. Uh, so I, I think we should ship it like it is right now. Yeah, we're just documenting what the uh, issues might be. Um, okay, it sounds uh, we have some quiet. I, I think this is a good one, you know, and even if we miss something, <laughs> we'll find yeah. out the hard way when somebody reports it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the good thing is it's not going into production. <laughs> <laughs> Not, well, it's not going to production, but we, we definitely have uh, Ericsson, Samsung, others are uh, using Nephio internally to, uh, yeah. to uh, demo things. But, but I, everybody understands that this is uh, definitely not ready for production, but it is ready for, for testing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's just important that people are aware of what the potential issues yeah, are. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry, my comment was not to mean that we should not deliver quality software because just because it's not going to production <laughs> that's not what i meant but i just wanted to yeah that was more of a joke and... right right <laughs> uh Fikre, go ahead hey i don't know just in relation to the porch issue that was reported i guess because as as porch is moving in under our umbrella do we own that issue that was reported also we do um, we do yeah I, I don't know whether that's that should be documented here as a known issue i don't know well, uh, I I wanted us to open issues for all of these to make sure. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's an issue in Nephew. It's not an issue in uh, CNCF uh, kept. <laughs> it is our issue. And, you know, the whole issue of how we deal with Porch moving forward, that's a very big topic and one of the first high priority things we need to discuss after the release, for sure. Uh, there are a lot of implications to that and we have to think through. Uh, how we're going to handle these? So um, yeah, I, I don't know. Do yeah. do we document it here as part of uh, release notes on known issues? Uh, I don't know. Well, I think the release notes. That that's a good question. Um, in the release notes, are we saying that Nephio now? Sorry, that Porch now belongs to Nephio. That's a big part of the release. Uh let's see. Uh... Not not as yet because we were. I was. We're still waiting on a release as such. You know, we need to tag it. Tag the repo. Um, to generate a release, if you like. Functionalities, really. let's see. Uh, is there something do we say about Porch here at all? Uh, oh, integration with new release of Porch. Yeah. Maybe it I says don't know. that. Yeah. OK. Yeah, uh, we can think of how to phrase that exactly. But um... by the way, we should move all the issues related to ports uh, here, right? Because I believe the approval one was listed on the Google uh, repo. So I think a bunch of these issues are not. I was just looking at it; they are not uh, reflected. Uh, yeah, very that, good point. That, that's what I mean. Like the one that was reported in relation to the private repo access from Porch was reported on kept. I think John then redirected that Correct. person yeah. to, to, so, to Nephew. Yeah. Um, so uh, should that there is be a gazillion of them. There is more okay. than 100 or something that we have to move. So I, I don't yeah. know how we did that. But uh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I think like Tal said, it's a huge topic in itself. Yeah, it, it's too big. It's not an issue. It's just a general thing we need to discuss, I think. And, yeah. and we have to face the reality that John is not very available and at some point, that availability will turn into zero. <laughs> so um, as a community, we have to think through what we're going to do moving forward. It's a very big topic, yeah. Um, OK, I, I um, yeah, Let, let's do a quick skim of the release note, maybe, just to, to see that everything is OK. Um, so prerequisites, the support matrix. I, I, I increased the course, actually, because for OEI, it required more course. Yeah. By the way, we, we still have a lot of issues with these Hugo URLs, because um, they won't show in, uh, in GitHub.com. Yeah, that's a, known, that's a known issue, probably. Yeah, yeah, just, just pointing Can it out. Can you please add a note there when you're there? Uh, I will add it. Please add a note, yeah.
yeah hopefully gagli will find a work around <laughs> yeah yeah otherwise we uh, need to do what you suggested uh, to all uh, something like a plugin yeah yeah um by the way in features do we mention that there's new documentation here i think so let's see if you go up it should be there in the future okay. new web based documentation yeah, yeah. um okay so the support matrix Really? Do we need 16 cores? <laughs> it was eight. I bet Sagar said he increased the number of cores. Hmm. Does it have so to be Sagar, was, was it right? Did you increase a core of memory? Did I get it wrong? Sagar, could you please keep me, on, no, keep me honest? Yeah, I can, I can, I can explain that. I mean, um, yeah, the, net, the NetView services, like uh, all the um, minimal things that we needed requires less than eight cores and memory. But in order to execute the end-to-end -end, uh, testing, we need the 16 cores and three, 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 two gigabytes. Okay. So, thank you. So may maybe, right? Because um, right? Because you could run all of Nephi on something much smaller. The The question is, if you want to run the, all the use cases that we have right now, right, then you need more, right? Exactly, yeah. OK. Um, right, Google Cloud, well, specifically, yeah, GKE for the management cluster. No, this is for any VM. Yeah, OK, any VM running in Google. This is correct. Uh, uh, Non-sandbox inst installation. Well, it's not, you know, people can create their own sa sa sandboxes. I think just this uh, formulation is a little awkward for me. Yeah, just to emphasize that those uh, requirements are specifically for the complete. Uh, something like that. Oops. Okay, please. Yeah, please suggest I'll take it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we might have another round uh, to look at this, uh, the release notes. Yeah. Um, Yes, this is correct. <laughs> um, oh, wait. No, it's not a typo. Sorry. Uh, all right, functionalities. This is the typo. Uh, generalization. I, th I thought I did the spell check. <laughs> <laughs> My IntelliJ. Uh, repo watcher changes. I, I think there's some items here that aren't entirely clear to me, but I don't see any harm in putting them here. Oh, we already said. Uh, okay, the fixes. Yeah, good. Uh, are we fixing or upgrading the multis version? Okay. Uh, config map, yeah. Yeah, 
That looks correct. Um, correct. Uh, provisioning of VLAN interfaces on nodes is manual, yes. Yeah, this is one more section we need to take a careful look at. So, yeah, um, thanks for doing that. Yeah, this all of this looks correct so far. Uh, yeah, correct. I mean, I, I don't know if we need to say additional features. All these, if we're recognizing all of these as limitations, it's clear that we know about them and want to improve them. Yeah. Um, Yeah, pot doesn't have to be capitalized in my view, but uh, okay. Um, also true, web UI. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, generally the web UI just needs a lot of work. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but it's okay to to give a lot of detail here. Um, yeah, these look like limitations. Can anybody think of other limitations to add? I'm sure there are many, <laughs> many limitations. Um, um, I, I think this is okay. I, I mean, um, there are obviously many limitations, um, but it's good to note the specific ones that we're immediately aware of. Um, well, we, we have four minutes left. You know, the next time will be the uh, TSC meeting tomorrow uh, where we meet some of us. Uh, open floor, anybody wanna raise something that uh, is important before the TSC meeting tomorrow? Uh, well, where are we planning? Uh, when, sorry, we are planning to release, to tag and do all this, you know, stuff around it tomorrow. I was I was under the impression tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, right. That was my understanding. What do you think, Tom? Tomorrow is so when I, tomorrow. I wanted us to have maybe a, a meeting where we do the tagging together. Not everybody has to be present, uh, for sure. Only people who have a vested work involved in the tagging of the images and everything. Um, so, on the calendar, do, do we have like there's so hmm. I wonder if we should create a special meeting this week. It could be tomorrow or Friday where we I would meet. Go for, I would go for, for Friday just to be safe uh, because there is a TSC tomorrow. Right, right. We might have some, you know, uh, some okay. outcomes from, yeah. from the TSC that we'll have to deal. And uh, that is yeah, so maybe, maybe just... Uh, to be on the safe side, uh, let's go with Friday. Then we have the weekend to party over the <laughs> new release. <laughs> um, yeah, that, I, there's a general rule sometimes that you never release on Friday, but we're a special project, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, I think yeah, Friday is okay, but, uh, uh, but any uh, particular reason, I, 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 I'm not expecting anything from TSC other than that they will ask the question, is the release done? <laughs> I think that's oh. the question they'll ask, yeah. Well, we'll show them those release notes and say that we are planning a, a 2.0.1 release soonish because we have some uh, big outstanding issues. So yeah, you know, the same thing happened with R1, so nobody was going to be shocked. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think that's okay. I, I think, uh, Content especially is mostly concerned just getting the press release out and having something. So yeah. um, it's totally fine to do fixes uh, yeah. in a month so, or so. Yeah, uh, so uh, my question was like, why uh, Friday is okay, but why not? Is there any specific reason why we don't want to plan for tomorrow? Because uh, let's... Uh, yeah, I just, I just thought maybe uh, that there's gonna be some like comments from TSC or something that we have to accommodate for. Uh, if not, we can do like a quick thing before the TSC. If people from from you know uh, across the big pond are okay with with uh, uh, with the oh, early, 
Um, I'm, I'm in favor of Friday because uh, it's just a lot of meetings too. <laughs> um, just give us a little bit of breathing room. And I agree with Rado, you know, something might come up in the TSC meeting tomorrow. Um, one day will not make a difference um, in my view. Um, all right, that, that, that's fine. So so let's have a meeting for uh, Friday, the release party. That's what you call it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can, yeah. <laughs> we, we, can always, we can always say that we have a cold freeze and we're just uh, uh, preparing for, for, for a release on Friday uh, in case, you know, TSC asks. Yeah about why yeah. it's why it's Friday or something. But I, I the same thing was with uh, R1. I don't think it's going to be an issue one day. So uh, this is a SIG release owned issue. Uh, Rado Bala, do you want to set a time for Friday uh, for the meeting? I, I'm yeah. good with any time. Yeah, Friday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh... A SIG one meeting on Friday. Uh, there is a SIG one meeting. Yeah, if if need be, I mean, some of us may have to skip it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so eleven to twelve is. Uh, do you think we should uh, meet at the same time, or we should meet it after, before? Tall, uh and that of course, I want to ask you because you are in the time zone. It's yeah. a Friday night for you. What what is the uh, is earlier the better for you, uh, Daddy? I, I cannot think about better fun for a Friday night than doing this, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it as early as possible. So I would say that before the SIG meeting, the SIG one okay. meeting. Sorry. Okay. 10 o'clock? Yeah, our time? It would be my 10 o'clock, yeah, and your, your 10 o'clock too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in the same time zone. Um, um, 10, 10, 10 PST? No, 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 it would be eight, eight a.m. PST. Eight, eight a.m. PST. Okay. Cool. Okay, Bala, would you create that issue in the uh, SIG release? Yes, I'll, yes, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll try to create it. If I cannot, I'll ask you. Yeah, let me take yeah. a shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you have problems, I can create uh, one in SIG automation. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, we're we're at time. Uh, wow, <laughs> quite a journey, but we're yeah, quite we're a journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as Thanks usual, everyone, yeah. huge thank you to everybody. This has been a crunch, sometimes unpleasant, uh, but we um, we're, we're there. And uh, as I said, I I hate these crunches. I'm gonna work really hard to make sure that we don't reach the same state with R three, <laughs> um, yeah. and that kind of work is gonna start now to make sure that with coordination with SIG1 and everything that we can, um, yeah, we, we can start working on future things right now and not wait a few months uh, twiddling our thumbs <laughs> until we get to the crunch for R3. So, um, yeah, to... Uh, by the way, the, the fix from Akash is there, right? So he's asking to test it. Uh, oh, with, terrific, uh, yeah. With Sagar, so... Uh, yeah, it's basically, yeah, yeah I, I know what, the, yeah, so the issue is that the... He copied from the the wrong place. So yeah, so it's it's actually a very small thing. So is it, is the PR already in? Did they update the PR? Yes, I'm just I was just reviewing the code. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, there are two comments now. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Vim. Thank you, Akash. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll see some of you tomorrow and on Friday. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah.